Hey intruders, and welcome to today's video. Few days back, Cloudflare faced a significant cybersecurity attack. Cloudflare, being a leading internet security and performance company, recently disclosed a breach on its internal Atlassian server. The breach, attributed to a suspected nation-state attacker, compromised critical systems, including Confluence Wiki, Jira Bug Database, and Bitbucket Source Code Management. Let's delve into the details. The threat actor gained initial access to Cloudflare's self-hosted Atlassian server on November 14, initiating a reconnaissance stage. Subsequently, on November 22, they returned and established persistent access using Scriptrunner for Jira. During this breach, they managed to infiltrate the Confluence and Jira systems. The attackers utilized one access token and three service account credentials stolen during a prior compromise linked to Okta's breach in October 2023. Cloudflare failed to rotate these credentials, providing the attackers with a pathway to their systems. Cloudflare detected the malicious activity on November 23, promptly severing the hacker's access on November 24. Cybersecurity forensics specialists began investigating the incident three days later. The company took decisive action, rotating over 5,000 production credentials, physically segmenting test and staging systems, and performing forensic triage on nearly 4,900 systems. Remediation efforts concluded on January 5th, with extensive measures taken, including re-imaging and rebooting all systems globally. Remarkably, despite attempts, the attackers failed to breach Cloudflare's data center in Brazil. Post-incident, Cloudflare remains committed to ongoing security enhancements. Staff is diligently working on software hardening, as well as credential and vulnerability management. It's crucial to note that the breach did not impact Cloudflare's customer data, services, global network systems, or configurations. However, the seriousness of the incident lies in the unauthorized access to documentation and a limited amount of source code. According to Cloudflare CEO, CDO, and CISO, the company believes this was a nation-state-sponsored attack with the intent to obtain persistent and widespread access to Cloudflare's global network. The attackers were likely seeking information about the architecture, security, and management of the network. In conclusion, Cloudflare's Thanksgiving breach underscores the persistent and evolving nature of cybersecurity threats. As we move forward, Cloudflare remains vigilant, learning from each incident to fortify its defenses. Thank you for joining us in today's video. Stay tuned for more updates on cybersecurity and technology. If you found this information valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, stay secure.